Hey guys, welcome back. We are finally starting off Halloween tutorials. So for this tutorial, I wanted to do like an evil jack-o'-lantern pumpkin type of look. So let's first tie back our hair so we get all of our hair out of our face and then move on to primer. I'm just using this Maybelline primer, but I do want to say that priming the skin is super important for any Halloween tutorial that you do or any Halloween look um, just because it serves as a barrier between your skin and the face paint so your skin doesn't get like irritated or break out or anything like that. Um, moving on to brows, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and use this glue stick any glue stick that you got laying around the house will do the job girl so just go ahead and run the glue stick through your brows and then spoolie them through so you get the brows to lie as flat as possible to the head so it looked like you ain't got no brows okay moving on to outlining the eyes I'm gonna go ahead and use this white eyeliner pencil that I got from NYC I believe and just outline the eyes I did want my eyes kind of higher arched just because I wanted him to be kind of like mean looking um, angry evil looking so I'm just outlining um, the eyes where I want the cool thing about using white eyeliner is because if you mess up you could just rub it off and then try again so that's really important for any Halloween look make sure you have a white eyeliner pencil nearby I do end up outlining the teeth as well which I recommend you guys not doing because it was just a waste of time I ended up covering in covering up the outlined teeth with face paint later on so just don't outline the teeth outline the eyes I just wanted to keep the clip in to show you guys that mistakes happen it's not that serious now moving on to my entire face color I'm going to be using this Nazaru face palette that I got from Michaels and just dipping into the orange shade right there you will see me switch off between this beauty sponge and a foundation brush throughout the entire video I use the foundation brush just to kind of get into like the hard to reach places so like any crevices any corners any edges that I need to do I use the foundation brush so I don't really use the beauty sponge too much so now I'm going to take this face palette that I got from Walmart last year I think I don't know I'm taking the black face paint on a pencil brush pencil paint brush and just outlining again going over that white um, eyeliner pencil and then covering in the brow space So now that the brows and outline is all done, we're going to go ahead and cover the lid space with some black gel liner. I wanted to use gel liner just because it doesn't crease as easy, but be smarter than me and set your gel liner right away. Don't wait till later like I did. Um, just go ahead and set it right away. So right here you're going to see me trying to make my eyes more rectangular, which I ended up not liking. Again, I decided to keep the clip in to show you guys that mistakes happen. It is okay. It is just makeup. Grab a makeup wipe, take it off, and do it again. So I'm going to go ahead and drag some more black face paint inward from the middle of my brows just to give me more like an angry, mean look. And then we're going to move on to the teeth. So for the teeth, I'm going to make sure to start the two top points off from my nostrils, like line them up to both of my nostrils so they're about even. And then take the teeth all the way out to where like the hollows of my cheeks start. Um, and then of course line up the bottom teeth to the top teeth, if that makes any sense. Like, do you see how I'm going like down here because the point on top of it is also going down so make sure that the teeth kind of fall into place it doesn't matter just make them look good make your teeth look good okay you don't have to be perfect at this part of course when you start to fill in your teeth you can make them as precise and as straight and as pointy as you want them okay so just make them look good so now that we're starting to feel a little creepy, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more black face paint and fill out my nose. I wish I would have filled out like the sides of my nose as well, so that's just a recommendation for those of you that want to recreate this look. Just um, maybe outline your entire nose and not just some of your nose. I'm also doing like a skeleton shaped nose, which I don't know why, but it came out good. So I'm just doing two points at the top and then I'm also taking this Morphe palette and grabbing this yellow eyeshadow from the palette and kind of just highlighting the high points of my face. So I'm doing like kind of like a V shaped in the middle of my forehead highlight. Also the tops of my cheekbones, the little apples on my cheeks, the chin, the top of my nose, all that good stuff. Just highlight everywhere because you don't want to be just one straight orange color. So now this part isn't really too important. I really just wanted like 
to contour my pumpkin so I went ahead and made some hollows like some contour um, like I just took some black paint made some contour lines and then shaded them down with some concealer like a concealer brush so this part it you could really honestly skip it because I don't think it made too much of a difference I honestly didn't really even like it after I put it on but it's cute oh, so now I'm gonna start making some wrinkles in my pumpkin um, I'm first taking some brown eyeliner at first but then I ended up not liking it so I'm using brown face paint afterwards and just making some squiggly lines to kind of look like wrinkles on my face they don't have to be even by all means they do not have to be even just kind of make them wherever you want them they don't have to be perfect either just make them squiggly and they'll turn out great so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with brown eyeliner first I'm taking it down from my forehead up from my eyes um, I'm also connecting the teeth to the eyes with the lines, going up from the chin, just all kinds of different directions, just making different wrinkles with this brown face paint. So now that the brown face paint is down, I'm going to go in with some black face paint um, and I'm just making even tinier, smaller wrinkles in between the teeth, in between all the other lines on top of my forehead and on my chin. Um, just doing it with a different color, basically, just making black little lines. I am going kind of like in a C shape though when I'm coming up from the teeth, just to give the illusion that the teeth, like the wrinkles are kind of like sunken into the skin. So just making all kinds of different sizes of lines. So now after all the lines are done, I'm going to go ahead and give me some more shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some brown eyeshadow and contour my forehead a little bit more, just going in that same V shape like we did with the highlighter. And then I'm going to go in with some yellow eyeshadow on a flat definer brush and just go in between the teeth. So like basically any edge that I see, I will go around it with some yellow eyeshadow just to give the face more dimension and more depth. So I'm just going over... Um, like all the edges on my teeth, the edges on my nose, all the thick edges like going from the eyes to the teeth, um, under the eyes, just basically anywhere that needs some depth and dimension, I'm going in with yellow eyeshadow. And here I am again, going over my lid space with some gel liner and then setting it with some black eyeshadow again. Do this at the very beginning, don't wait till later like me, just do it right away, okay? Um, and then I also thought that the face looked kind of funny just being painted on its own, so I'm going to go ahead and paint my neck and my chest as well. Throw on that orange face paint everywhere, and then once that's done, we're going to hollow out the bones. So we're going to do the clavicle area. Is that what that's called? Clavicle bones? I'm not right. The collarbone. We're going to do the collarbone. So any like little dip or curve that I see in my bones, I'm just going to go over it with some brown eyeshadow. Now once all the shadow is done, we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing that we did on our face. So first going in with some brown face paint and just making lines from the chin all the way down to the chest. Then after that, going in with some black liner and doing the same thing, just making lines from the chin all the way down the chest. And then I also wanted to try to see like how yellow face paint would look instead of yellow eyeshadow and I actually really liked the way it came out. So I just went ahead and threw some yellow lines on my face as well as my neck. So yellow face paint, brown face paint, black face paint, just making little lines everywhere, little wrinkles everywhere. After all your wrinkles are down, I thought the ears and the hairline looked kind of funky. So I first tried going in with some orange face paint on the hairline. Didn't work. So I just went ahead and went in with some black face paint on the hairline and also covered my ears in black paint as well. So after you do those steps, this look is complete. So here you have the evil jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I enjoyed creating it for you guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next Halloween tutorial. Let me know what you guys want to see next. <laughs> Bye guys.